Hey, happy Friday to you. Hope you're having yourself a great day. Uh, my name's Eric and you're watching Eric's Crypto Corner. I'm a tax accountant with over 17 years experience in that industry and I've been in the crypto space for about five years buying, selling, and mining crypto. Let's go ahead and start today's video. So today's video is going to be a little short and sweet one. Uh, if you've been watching your mempool, uh, we covered that a little while ago about how you can watch and check up on these solo mining pools like CK pool or public pool. And if you've been paying attention this last week, two solo miners have hit Bitcoin blocks, which obviously is a reward of 3.125 Bitcoin. And even in this depressed state, uh, Bitcoin being around 85 or $90,000 uh, a Bitcoin, that's still a pretty healthy payout. I mean, we're talking uh, roughly $275,000 ballpark uh, for payout. Uh, for those blocks that have been found. So I wanted to go over the couple of blocks found today in mempool and just remind you how you can get access to that and see who's hit what and what they were using uh, to also find their Bitcoin blocks. <laughs> okay, let's get started. All right, and as most of you know, I have my own uh, Bitcoin node that I installed and I have a video on how to set up your own Bitcoin node uh, really for not that much. I mean, I, I had a couple of comments about, oh, it only costs you six or seven hundred dollars uh, to set up your Bitcoin node. Yes, uh, it actually can cost significantly less if you've got a uh, older computer sitting around. Uh, the minimum specs to run a Bitcoin node are not that impressive. And in fact, uh, Umbrel, which is the operating system we installed, uh, does sell, you know, a pre-made uh, four terabyte hard drive node. Uh, you know, a hardware node that you can buy. Uh, I'm not, you know, suggesting you do. I'm just saying that the price on that's like 450. So you can get uh, your own Bitcoin node set up for less than $500. Um, I think you could even do it for cheaper, you know, if you had uh, an older computer laying around or whatever. But anyway, so I'm in my Umbrel Bitcoin node. I'm going to go ahead and click on Mempool. And as you remember last time, you know, Mempool, uh, shows all the Bitcoin blocks, you know, roughly every block uh, in reward is found about every 10 minutes. Okay. And we just put in a, you know, Bitcoin address or ecosystem or whatever we want to do up on the top right. And from there, you know, we can see uh, what's been cooking with CK pool or public pool. So I, I've already done, <laughs> I already searched this once in a while. So I'm just going to type in CK pool and solo CK. And lo and behold, look what we got here. Uh, one week ago on 1121, so it was exactly one week to the day, uh, there was a solo block found. And even yesterday, <laughs> literally on Thanksgiving, uh, what a what an awesome uh, reward that was, right? 1127 would have been yesterday on Thanksgiving. Um, it was mined very early on Thanksgiving. You know, so imagine, you know, we're waking up to that and like, holy moly. Um, and what you can do here is we can click on, you know, the uh, block here. We can see where the Bitcoin was sent to. There's 3.15 went to the person that mined, you know, the Bitcoin. And clearly there was a portion of the Bitcoin that also went to the pool. So this is probably CK pools, you know, fee 0.06. So all I really do is we all, okay, we got to go over to CK pool. Um, and when we go over to CK pool, they have this little uh, graphical statistics link kind of right at the top that you can click on. Okay. And it just brings this up to like, oh, okay, here's our CK pool stats. And it shows you how much, uh, you know, their uptime and their users and the whole works. But what we want to do is we want to put our Bitcoin address up here. So all we really do is copy the link address here, go back over to CK pool. Now I'm going to paste that Bitcoin address in there, but there's going to be some stuff kind of ahead of it here that I got to get rid of. So I got to get rid of all this umbrella, you know, stuff. I just want the Bitcoin address. So I'm just going to copy in the BC one, which is what most Bitcoin addresses start with, you know, BC. And we're just going to click on search. And what that's going to do is it's going to show us uh, this guy, you know, and we scroll down a little bit and it shows he's got five machines. You know, he just, 
uh, added these machines too. So it, he has not been mining a super long time. Authorized basically means when the machines have been online since, you know, so he may have taken them down for a period of time, but he's really only consistently been running uh, for about a month, okay? And you can see his uh, hash rate is right here, 744 terahash. So now this is not nothing, okay? This is not uh, a small amount of terahash. Really what this is, is this is about five, uh, or sorry, probably closer to seven, uh, five to seven uh, big, big ASIC machines. And when we scroll down further, we can actually see each machine he's got or she. So they've got five machines all running between 130 to 170 terahash. So these are big, power hungry, most likely quite loud uh, machines. But what I'm mostly interested in is looking at the best share. So you can see the best share here was 426 trillion uh you know so he really crushed you know the uh required difficulty in order to hit the bitcoin block uh in this situation now you may say well geez you know there's no way i'm ever going to get this much hash rate and i would agree with you i think home miners like me and many other people watching this video you're never going to hit that with uh you know the home miners so I was interested in seeing what this one did about a week ago. And we simply copy that address, do the same thing. Come back over to CK stats, put that address in there, but we'll take out all the other stuff here. And you can actually see this is a 3K number. And let's look here. Oh, okay, that was eight. Uh, ironically authorized the same day. <laughs> I doubt they know each other. Um, but this person only had almost seven terahash. Now that's about what I'm running downstairs is about seven terahash. Uh, so this is really not hardly anything. You know, th this is a very small investment, definitely under a thousand dollars of investment. And we can scroll down even further and say, okay, well, what kind of machines have we got going here? These are all baby home miner machines. And we can see the hash rate over here. These are all probably Lucky Miners, the 07 that I've got downstairs, it runs around one terahash. Bitaxes, those gammas, you know, probably around 1.2. You can probably push them a little higher. So these are the 100 to $150 ASIC machines, and he's got, or she's got six of them. So definitely under $1,000 worth of investment, very little power spent. And when we look at the best share ever, uh, it's this one right here, 221 trillion on most likely a Bitax Gamma or a Lucky Miner 07 or something similar to that. This, this is, this is, this is peanuts. Okay, this is peanuts to hit that block. Okay, so that is two miners. And go back over to here. Two miners in the last week have hit a solo block. This one is definitely at home or in an office or a closet somewhere. And this one obviously is probably some kind of bigger, uh, you know, maybe they've got it in a shop or a garage or something like that, because these are definitely going to be running very, very loud uh, with that amount of hash for almost 700 hash, a terahash per second. But this one was just crazy to see that. And we can see that really it's been quite a gap since CK pool has found a block. It's been three months. And in that three months ago, they were basically hitting every week or two. So um, I just wanted to show you one more time about how you can look up when a solo block is found and what kind of machines were used to find those blocks. All right. So I hope that that was kind of helpful for you to be a little reminder about how you can use mempool and get out there and occasionally check and see when solo miners are hitting uh, on CK pool or public pool or any other solo mining pool that you want to check. Um, but just know that, you know, I do this kind of stuff in order to support the Bitcoin network. I know that my chances at seven tier hash are very low. Uh, I even had somebody the other day say, well, you'd have to mine for 2,800 years before you hit a block. And if you're using the rule of average, yes, on average, 
seven terahash would hit a block every 2,800 years. But every 10 minutes, a block is found. And every second, you're submitting shares. So that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to wait 2,800 years before I hit a block. That's just the average. And you can see that today with the miner last week that had about seven terahash of power. He'd only been on CK pool for about a month. And all of a sudden, boom, $300,000 in your pocket from solving uh, that block for him. So congrats to the two miners in the last week. That's super awesome uh, that both of you hit a solo block. So thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate you coming by. Uh, it's a day after Thanksgiving. I just wanted to get this video out to make sure that people were aware um, that those two lucky miners had hit. And if you have any questions about solo mining, setting up your node, using mempool, things like that, feel free to post in the comments below. And I'll be happy to respond. I do. I try my best to get back to people within about a day or less whenever you have comments or questions on the channel. So as usual, this is uh, this video is for informational purposes and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Until next time, peace.